All right, Malcolm with the black and green trunks on, and you'll see Capaldo with the black on, red tape on the gloves as we set to bring you the second fight in the featherweight division here at CFC, CFFC 71 at Borgata. Two gloves tap, and we are set to begin our second fight. Both, See both, both men right there throwing single kicks, which, uh, which can be dangerous, but there still is a feeling out process here. I don't think anybody's ready to engage just yet. Malcolm, kind of the aggressor. He's moving forward here on Capaldo. And now Capaldo with a shot up towards the head area, blocked off nicely. Ooh, yeah. the left hand got through there. Yeah, yeah, nice stinging jab. I ran into uh, Paul Capaldo's grandfather. Oh, and we go for a shot, and he gets it. Take down. That's a blast double, ladies and gentlemen. And he's got him locked down with that underhook on the left side. Capaldo on top. And Malcolm just trying to trying to lift him off almost. Well, he want, yeah, he, it's, it's not a good place to be. He's in what's called uh, half guard right now. And what uh, Capaldo needs to do is he needs to get that other leg out so he can either move to side control and eventually mount. And you see right now he's going for that, that guillotine. But it, it, it's extremely hard. Uh, if your hips aren't involved, to get a submission with a guillotine. Yeah, Malcolm doing a good job locking the, the ankle and the leg there. Yeah, I mean, he's doing, he's doing the right things. But now he's, he's all kinds of tied up here. What you see on that far right side where he's got that underhook, it's under his leg, and what he wants to do is get that under his arm. A couple shots to the face as he left it exposed, and Malcolm almost gets out. Now some ground and pound. And now Malcolm's just kind of wrapping there. Well, again, this is, you know, this is mixed martial arts. That's Brazilian jiu-jitsu at its finest right there. He's got an open guard right now, which if Capaldo uh, recognizes, he could stand up. But this might be a, this is a good, this is a good position, especially for a wrestler. You can do damage here. And Malcolm you know, looks relaxed, even on his back. That, that, could be, that could be such a dangerous trap, though. You know, for the judges especially, I think they see this position and they, they immediately associate it to, to Bobby Malcolm is losing. He is on the bottom. Capaldo is on the top. Capaldo kind of with a wrist lock here as he's now standing to his feet and he's trying to get his hands free to see if he can get an open shot. Well, they're, yeah, they're, they're hand fighting and that's, that's what Bobby has to do right here. He has to try to control the hands. You know, if he controls the hands, obviously he's not being punched. There's no damage being done. Uh, and you can do various attacks from there. You get feet on the hips. You can go for arm bars. You can try to sweep them. And look, right, right now, Capaldo almost taking Bobby's back. Yeah, Malcolm almost got out of that. He almost got to his all fours. This is not a good. This is not a good position if you're Bobby Malcolm. Capaldo just kind of throwing some shots in there, just trying to wear down Malcolm so that he'll stop trying to get out of this. And we have almost an attempted rear naked choke right there. You hear a little bit of the Philadelphia crowd trying to help Bobby get to his feet here as he is down back on his back. And Capaldo, he just. Laying on top now. We've got two minutes left, and you wondered if Malcolm can get to the finish line here and maybe get his bearings back under him. I mean, he's obviously a, a tough, composed fighter. And see right here, he dug that underhook, and, and, and Capaldo recognized it and dug an underhook of his own. He wants to lock him down, and right now he's got him up against the cage. It looks like he's in a position to grab a head and arm choke. He he, did he just move to mount? He did. He just moved straight to mount. We got 130 to work. He can finish this right here. Oh, he's trying to get... A choke in. Can he get that under there? Malcolm's in a little bit of trouble here. Not a little bit, a lot of bit. I, I, you know, I want to point this out right here. You saw the Nicotone fighter, Paul Capaldo, right there. Just look straight across and listen to what his coaches are telling him. He's, 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 got, the, he's got a cross wrist right here. He's wrist riding. Typical wrestler thing. And he uh, positions right to a rear naked choke position, but it doesn't look like it's under the chin. I don't think you're going to get Bobby Malcolm with that. Yeah, he tried to work that in, couldn't get it, and now he's working that right arm. As Malcolm has just seemingly been on his back this entire round. He's got 50 seconds, Punk. Can he get to the end? I guess that's where he's trying, just to get to the end and escape this round. Yeah, we're going to see if we're going to see our first second round of the night. Looks like he's got and underneath he's, he's, there. He's going for a guillotine. He's shooting his hips in. Malcolm almost getting to his feet for the first time essentially the entire round, and Capaldo picks him back up. I'm impressed with Capaldo's wrestling. He's just doing all the right things. There's basics. And you he see him score wrestler. right there with some punches. Wrestler in high school, won 124. 
during his high school wrestling career. A lot of these guys have that background. And Malcolm finally, with 10 seconds left in the round, is able to get up to his feet. you got to give him credit for continuing to kind of fight his way through this round. I definitely think, obviously, that was Paul Capaldo's round. But I don't think Bobby Malcolm, uh, I, I don't think he's a slouch at all. You know what I mean? I, I think he made a couple mistakes. You know, he, he got hit with a very nice blast double right out of the gate. And from there, it was just a fight for him to get back up. So Paul Capaldo, as CM Punk mentions there, it looked like that round one clearly in his favor. Let's take a quick replay here and take a look at Capaldo. Now you see right here, he's, he's wrist riding him. He's making sure that he can't get up, and he's scoring with punches. He's doing damage. You see him shift his weight here. He stays on top. It's a, it's a rough position to be in, trust me. <laughs> I'll take your word for it over uh, what I would add in that position right there. Sitting down, taking a couple of punches to the face, no matter how much power is behind them. Yeah, not they're, not, they're not devastating punches, but you know, when you're getting punched in the face, you know, you, you need to you need to be to react to that. You need to stand up, you need to block that, you need to stop it. Start of round two, Mike Hill, CM Punk, cage side here, CFFC 71, Borgata, Atlantic City. Nice inside kick. Straight right hand, ooh, and a kick by Capaldo, which just grazed Malcolm. Something like that hit, you're in trouble. Something like that, you get you get knocked out by a high kick from a wrestler, and then you're going to hear about it. But that's the thing, this is the future of MMA. All these guys are so young, you know, they start training MMA at such an early age. Capaldo swings that right leg again wildly, and Malcolm able to get out of the way. Malcolm. You know, he spent the first round on his back, most of it, but he's coming forward. Both these guys still trying to just find that opening. They want to be on their feet. Left hand. Good energy from both guys to start the second round. And Capaldo slips, and then he gets up in a right hand, and he's got a fist fight. trouble. Throwing blows. And then he shoots in on him. It looked like he had him up against that cage, and Malcolm's able to separate. Yep, he's still in this. This is still a fight. Hey! Oh. And a right foot connects, but it looked like Malcolm got his glove up to protect a little bit. Yeah, that, you know, and a lot of the times, just because you get your hand in between the flying foot and your face doesn't mean it was blocked. You're still feeling that. Kicks to the body, kicks to the leg. You know, even if you get your arm down there, you check it a little bit, you know, they all hurt. Malcolm Black Shorts Green and his opponent Paul Capaldo in all black. He's got the red wrist tape. Malcolm with the blue. Inside kick. And those things sometimes just to kind of, you know, take a little bit out of the, those legs there. That all adds up in these three rounds. They take a lot out of the legs. He's throwing a lot of single kicks, though. He's not, he's not trying to hide him behind anything. And I would like to see Paul Capaldo answer that. You know, the instant somebody throws that kick, it's, it's almost like a free shot. You get to throw at them uh, before they get their foot planted back down on the ground. Bobby Malcolm should want to disguise those kicks with some punches. A jab, uh, you know, a, a, a jab cross, something. Round two of three he is keeping fight. He is keeping those kicks low enough that he can't get grabbed and taken down with them. So that is the smart thing he's doing. A straight right hand jab. Malcolm. Hey, bump, 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 bump. Ooh, left hand snuck that in there. Ooh, and a right hand. Has him backpedaling. Man, that was quick. Just kind of boom. Malcolm continuing to just roll with the punches here. Ooh, and a left hand connects to the side. Ooh. And a jumping hook right there. He's throwing leg kicks of his own now. Malcolm dancing around as we approach two minutes to go here in this second round. Ooh, that's it, that's, that's it. it. Stop the fight. You heard it. Mercy. Right in front of us. Mercy me. The snap Woo. from the foot to the head of Bobby Malcolm as Paul Capaldo with the TK up. Wow. Well, they say keep your hands up, defend yourselves at all times. Wow, and you can see how amped the crowd is right now. 
They're almost as amped as I am. That was a dynamic knockout right there. You don't see a kick with that force connect to the point where it just takes you, your opponent, off their feet. I am very impressed. Uh, you know, you can say Paul Capaldo's a wrestler. All right, we got to take another look at this one. Yes, Punk, yes, we do. Break this one down for us. Pretty straightforward here. Yeah, I mean, he he throws. You see how he throws the left hook, and he follows it right up with a, a left high kick. And that's not that's not a basic technique. That is that's not easy to do. He masks the kick with the hook. He kicks him right in the neck. Kicking necks and collecting checks. That's what my coach always says. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout was stopped at three minutes and four seconds in the second round. Winner by key KO out of the red corner, Paul Pauly C. Capaldi!